This video will demonstrate how to take an exam using the RPNOW Student LTI tool. The tool makes it easy to access your remote proctored exam directly from your university's course management system. First, log into your course management system and locate your course. You will then need to click on your Student LTI tool. In most courses, the link will be labeled Take RPNOW Exams. If you cannot locate the Student LTI tool, contact your instructor. Select the exam you will be taking and choose Begin. Confirm your name, email address, and user ID, which should auto-populate into the appropriate boxes. You can copy your email address to save time later by clicking the orange box. You will then be prompted to confirm the course and exam you've selected before proceeding. You will be taken to the RPNOW installation page where you will choose Download Software. You will need to do this each and every time you take an RPNOW exam. Locate your download, then save and run the program. The license agreement will populate. Please read through this agreement and accept the agreement to proceed. The microphone check will automatically populate. You will need to speak out loud in order to pass. After passing the microphone check, click OK. Please remember, if you need any assistance while using RPNOW, you can always click the Contact Support button located at the top of the screen and get assistance via chat. A bandwidth check will run in the background. If you do not have sufficient bandwidth, a message will appear. If you see this message, you can try using a different computer, restarting the RPNOW software, taking the exam in a different location, restarting your router, or making sure others are not using excessive bandwidth on your connection. Type your email address, or click the green button to paste your email address if you click the orange button to copy previously, and select Take My Exam. Confirm the exam you are taking, and select Next. You can also change your selection by choosing Search for Another Exam. If you receive a user not found message, first ensure that your email address is correct and try again. If this does not work, click Manual Entry and enter your information. Choose your course and exam from the drop downs and enter your name, email address, and phone number. It's important to note that the name that you provide us must match the name that is listed on your photo ID exactly. First time users will need to register their name, ID, and email. You will not be prompted to do this for future exams. The RPNOW advisory pages will then launch. Please read through the prompts carefully as they explain the rules for the exam. RPNOW will then launch a page which will give you the option to close any prohibited processes. You will then be prompted to take a picture of your photo ID. Make sure we can see your picture and that the name on the ID is readable. If the picture is unclear, you're able to retake the photo. When you can confirm this, Check the box below, then click Confirm ID Photo. Next, you'll need to complete a room scan. Click Start Room Scan and move your web camera to show us your desk area, floor, and the walls around you. Make sure you pan the entire area. Once the scan is submitted, you'll have to review the entire video before you can check the box and confirm the scan. Again, you'll always have the option to retake this video. You will then be prompted to take a clear user photo to compare with your photo ID. Once this is completed, you will have 10 minutes to start the exam. Log in and then load the course. Do not click Take RPNOW Exams again as you have already completed this step. Instead, you should locate your exam within your course. Once you have selected your exam, you may be prompted for a password. You will not be told in advance what the password is. Click the Insert Exam Password button at the top of the window to populate the password. You can then click Submit and take the exam. After finishing the exam, click the button to save and submit your answers. It's important to note that RPNOW will continue to record after you've submitted your answers until you select Close and confirm you'd like to exit the exam. Thank you for watching our tutorial and good luck on your exams!